Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Kirk Cookery of the First Methodist Church of Evanston, Illinois in 1925, we're going to be making the Yum Yum Sandwich. To make our sandwich we have to pound watercress into cream cheese. Now I bought this at the store and they said it was watercress, but I suspect it's probably cress. But that's all I got, that's what I'm going to do. Is it exactly the same? No. But is it going to do? Yes. Now we add in minced ham. And lastly, a little mayonnaise. Now we put that onto our bread. Okay, let's give this yum yum sandwich a go. Not bad. A little sweetness from the um, cream cheese, a little bit of a tang, a little peppery bite from the, the crust or water crust or whatever the heck it is. Um, and then smoky ham. It is not bad. I think I might want to plus it up a little though. I'm going to add some capers. Just a nice, bright, pickly little pop. Okay, let's give this yum yum sandwich plussed up with capers a go. Now we've got smoky ham, sweet and slightly tangy cream cheese. Mayonnaise is bringing a little richness, a little peppery bite from the crust, and a bright briny pop from the capers. This is wonderful. Well, the original yum yum sandwich I found to be both yum and yum. Uh, I like the smoky ham. I like the uh, play with the, the sweet cream cheese, uh, a little bit of peppery bite from the crust. I thought that was really solid as a tea sandwich, a uh, snack sandwich. That's like an eight. Plussed up with the capers, that's easily an eight and a half, maybe nine. I like that additional element in there. Good flavor, good texture, delicious. Definitely gonna finish that, and I would make the plussed up version anytime, and if someone made me the non-plussed up version, I would eat that anytime, because it is tasty. All right, see you tomorrow.